Hello and welcome. Please pause the video, read the problem, and try it on your own. I notice here that they're asking us for x and y, two variables in the equation. So let's identify where they are. I see them here. x is a base. So I'll keep that in mind, right? x is a base. It's some number being raised to an exponent. And the exponent we're raising it to is y, right? y is an exponent. So let's not lose track of that. That's going to be important. Notice I don't really know anything about this problem yet. I'm just kind of identifying maybe what x and y are because they asked for that. So I want to know, okay, well, what, what are these things? Are they in square roots? Are they being raised to powers? What's going on? On the left-hand side in this term, I notice that we're dividing 48 to the 4th and 6 to the 4th. I notice that not only are we dividing, but we're dividing two numbers with the exact same exponents, 4 and 4. And I notice that 6 goes into 48. So I'm thinking, wow, it would be really nice if we can just divide 48 by 6, which is 8, right? And maybe like leave the exponent alone or something, right? Or, or maybe even divide it. Maybe do 4 divided by 4 and get 1. Like, is this the answer, right? Is uh, x to the y just 8 to the 4th? Is x 8 then? And y 4th? Y 4? Um, so we might know a little bit about the laws of exponents here. And in fact, yes, this is true. But let's not memorize it. Let's just think about why this makes perfect sense, right? What's going on here? There's many ways to explain it. I'll just take it from one perspective. 48 to the 4th, right? What is that? Well, it's a big number. Divided by 6 to the 4th, right? As a fraction, we could write it this way. Well, here, uh, one way to think about it that, that I would use is that we have 48 to the 4th means 48 times 48 times 48 times 48 over 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. And you might recognize here that because we're multiplying everything on our numerators and denominators, we can regroup them. We can group each of these pairs together in the numerator and denominator. So it's like thinking of 48 divided by 6 four times. 48 divided by 6, 48 divided by 6, 48 divided by 6, and 48 divided by 6, right? So we could divide each of them and multiply. And let's do that and see what happens. 48 divided by 6 is 8, right, times another 8 times another 8, and then times another 8. And that is 8 to the 4th. So this does work. So in other words, if you have two numbers being divided and the exponents are the same, you can just divide those bases right there straight away. This is an important rule that can save you quite a bit of time. Thanks.